Good morning, everybody. Yeah, summer's definitely here and it is getting hotter. So it means that I will have to break down and turn on the AC. And uh, uh, so I'm going to get ready to do that today. Let's see here. It's uh, even though I said good morning, it's not necessarily morning. And it is uh, 17 hours. Yeah, 17 hours into the day of Friday, June 27th, 2014. And we're it's time to start another day. So that's what we're gonna do. We have a lot, a lot on schedule for today. Let's see what I can get done. I have uh, work on the editing bay. I, I have to clear up some of that backlog and get things moving again. Uh, I have more filming scheduled for today. Primarily, uh, uh, the Insta vlog. We have, I think, two things to do on Insta vlogs today. Those should be going up. They're rather easy to. To, to do and and to uh, then eventually edit so uh, not much of an issue there uh, the ones that are issue the ones that's an issue are still the, sh the, the, the larger shows like uh, Beauty and the Geek where that have a lot of overlay graphics and the interactive graphics in it and that's where I really bogged down is on the interactive graphics it, it, I don't know it, it, it does seem to present a bit of a problem I'm gonna try to work that out today but we'll see what happens Anyways, uh, uh, as I do different things, if something's of interest, I will uh, let you know. I will vlog it, and uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, see you around today. All right, take it easy. Well, good morning, everybody. It's time for another segment of the BTS vlog. Yeah. Oh, said it's not necessarily morning. It is 18 hours and six minutes into the day of Saturday, June 28th. 2014 and as the month ends up uh, last night uh, and yesterday I ended up with a pleasant surprise and normally we're behind on things this is the way we, we do it typically really far behind on things we take a long time to get to them uh, I'm pretty sure that most of you have noticed that that uh, you know we intend to do things but uh, we always end up falling short well, I ended up doing some cleaning up. I finished some major sub-projects uh, yesterday and over the week. So I've been handling the cleanup of these sub-projects and sort of looking into uh, the next direction as I redo my notes. And as I was sitting down looking at what had been accomplished, what sub-projects had been finished and what sub-projects needed to come in next, to my pleasant surprise, what was on the books and, and you know scheduled to be in there in terms of the, the next step that I needed to move forward, that's Project Tesla. I had scheduled Project Tesla as a target date for October 2014 because that's when I really thought I'd get there. But lo and behold, what ended up happening, I began Project Tesla yesterday. So. Uh, <laughs> yay for that. We, Project Tesla is now on the books. The notebook is now open to Project Tesla. We are now uh, moving into the development phase of Project Tesla. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be an interesting ride. Uh, we'll see what we can find on there. And for those of you who um, uh, are wondering uh, uh, what's included in the pro in Project Tesla, well, this is also looks at the Hutchinson, the Hutchinson effect as well. So we're going to be looking into that. Uh, along with a lot of other different things as well. So, um, it, it, there, there's a lot of interconnection here. So, uh, 
we're going to start working on that. Uh, actually, I've already started working on uh, doing some of the theoretical work. Uh, the next step after the theoretical work is, uh, uh, I'm going to be still cleaning my labs up a little bit more. To start working on, to start bringing in, to what, what, <clears throat> sorry, once the theoretical work is to a certain point, then I can start bringing in lab experiments. Uh, and that's what I'm working on, I'm going to start working on this week, I'm going to start working on uh, fixing up the lab. I need both the, uh, uh, the engineering and prototyping uh, lab and back to be done or at least in a functional order. I also need the electronics bench to be in a better fun it is, it is a, in a it is in a it's in a functional order, but it needs to be in a better functional order. In other words, things need to be fixed up on it. Uh, so these will be the next sub projects. And because other sub projects have been cleared out of the way, we can move forward with that. This also means that as, as I was surprised I was looking at what was sort of fixed up and done in the sub-project, uh, we're moving forward with uh, Beauty and the Geek. Uh, we had been sort of very, pretty much behind on that. Um, there's still an episode stuck in the editing bay. <laughs> I hope to get that out this week. Uh, and then sort of reschedule things again. It's, you know, once you finish things up, you clean up your schedule, you clean up your notes, and you set up something new, to do something new, you, you reschedule things. And <laughs> that's part of the task. It's part of the, you know, I guess the mundane work here. Uh, anyways, uh, I think I'm going to leave that here for now. And I will see you later during the day if we do some more filming, you know, if we do some, you know, uh, work in the lab, either lab, I'll take you with me, you can sort of show you around. And you sort of do maybe do a cleaning montage or something like that. Anyways, take it easy. All right, bye bye. All right, ready, let's do this again. Uh, let's see. It's Wednesday, July second. 2014. It's just about 17 hours into the day. Yeah, it's about 7 o'clock. So, uh, I think it's no, no, 19 hours into the day. Because uh, 7 plus 12 is 19, so it'll be 19 hours into the day of Wednesday, July 2nd, 2014. Well, going shopping. Uh, I don't know how much I'm going to be able to vlog this because it's starting to rain out. It's not that bad, but uh, still, you never know. So, uh, I've been trying out those two uh, two new uh, live options now. You now and uh, Twit Casting. This is kind of an experiment to see how things go. Uh, for To do live broadcasting. So, basically right now... I'm testing out Physics TV Live. So, <laughs> that's kind of a good thing because uh, uh, it means we're beginning our testing earlier than I expected to. So, but it's bizarre. Uh, the more popular platform, you now doesn't seem to be as functional as the less popular platform, TwitCasting. And I end up getting better results in terms of the number of viewers on Twit casting than I do on you now. So, so you know, these are things you got to sort of figure out and try out and see how things go. Anyways, uh, I don't really have much anything, anything else to say right now. So, I'm going to leave it here. And if I do think of anything more to say as I'm walking, I'll get you guys out and uh, talk to you again. Alrighty. Take it easy. Oh, you fell down again. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Let's see if we can get you standing up straight here. Here we go. Stand up straight again. You keep falling down on me. I don't know why you keep falling down. But anyways, uh... It's been an interesting day. 
Uh, I definitely I went food shopping. I ended up getting uh, some uh, more stuff for the kitchen diner. Uh, the goal is, as I find equipment that's on uh, on sale for cheap, to bring in new menu items that will allow me to reduce the overall food cost. And that's what I did today. So, and I estimate that within two weeks, with the food savings, uh, I'll pay for uh, what the blender I bought. I bought a blender, pretty good blender. Oh, uh, it's really hot out here uh, I don't, my air conditioning is somewhat working and, the, uh, and so what I decided to do is uh, one of the meals I'm gonna be having for uh, one of the uh, meals is gonna be a shake and it's simply because not because I'm on a diet or anything like that it's just that uh, during the summer heat you don't need the number of the amount of nutrients that you would have if you have, if you're having meat and sandwiches all the time, uh, sandwiches add a lot of carbohydrate in there, particularly because of the bread. So yeah, the sandwich is cold, but the the bread adds an enormous amount of carbohydrates to the, to your system, and that's not necessarily so good because that produces heat. And if you're already in a hot environment and your body's producing more heat because of the carbohydrates, well, you're going to only be hotter. So the solution to that is uh, increase in uh, hydration, that means more water, and uh, as I said, if I have a shake for one meal, that's more than enough calories. And of course there's the nutrients from the milk, the, the fresh fruit, in, in my shakes I don't, uh, my shakes are a combination of, uh, a, a combination of the smoothie and a shake, it's not necessarily a, um, a, a, a um, all ice cream. As a matter of fact, it's just uh, it's mo there's almost no ice cream in there at all. Just some milk, uh, chocolate syrup, fruit, and that uh, forms the shake. So there's more than enough nutrients in there to carry me through uh, for four or five hours at, at, min at minimum. Anyway, so it's good enough. To, it's good enough to uh, 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 skip a full size meal. Uh, what else is there? The live broadcasts are going well. I was pleasantly surprised. I did a, uh, you, uh, a hangout today, a live hangout for my YouTube channel. And I thought that the video wasn't going to be that good in terms of it's, it's going to be uh, too small for 720p. For, for, like I, have my, I have my 1080p screen here, my, uh, uh, my, uh, my open IP TV. And I want to sort of create, I'm saying create my channel so that people can view it on their TVs. And I was concerned that, you know, it wouldn't scale up properly. But, you know, YouTube does a good job at scaling the, these things up. And, and, and it did fit the screen properly. It was very well formed. So I was happy with what I saw. So uh, basically what you'll be seeing actually before this video gets up, you'll be seeing uh, a, a more live broadcast now. I think it's going to be about three hours worth of live broadcast from 10 o'clock at night till about 1 o'clock in the morning. That's what the schedule is right now. Anyway, so... <sighs> Anyways, I will talk to you uh, in a bit. It's time to go because uh, I think I'm going to call it a day because the internet is down for some uh, maintenance. And I don't know when it's going to be back up again, so I think that's going to be about it for today. All right, night. Oh, almost forgot. Time and date stamp, right? It is four hours and 11 minutes into the day of Thursday, June 3rd, July 3rd, 2014. Tomorrow is July 4th. That's uh, American Independence Day. July 1st just passed, so happy, happy Canada Day to people who are Canadian. All right, night. Prepared to have what you know challenged by Cyborg Alpha TV Network. I'm having a hard time getting you guys to stay up here. Not to fall over. There we go. Oh, I 
I just finished three hours live. The first hour is on uh, the first hour is, is on uh, YouTube for Hangouts. The second hour is on new, uh, new now for uh, for another hour after that. So it's from 10 o'clock to 11 is 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 uh, YouTube Hangouts. It's the channel live. The second hour is you now, and the third hour is twit casting. So I'm done. <laughs> and the thing is, because there's there's time in between, I take about five minutes in between to get a glass of water because uh, you do get harsh as you're talking. Uh, I've been doing a, a lot of uh, the uh, what I usually do in um, in Insta vlogs. I've been doing them live. I've been bringing, I've been bringing a lot of the topics from there live, and putting together basically essays on them, going further into the research. And, and uh, lot, uh, tonight we did uh, government and conspiracy. Uh, we're going to do the same thing tomorrow night. We're going to go further into things. Uh, we're gonna, uh, and we're going to talk about how, what's going to happen today, wh where things possibly could go in the future, uh, with. Uh, everything that's going on. So you know, if you if you're a type of person who has interest in this stuff, I think is we're not doing standards. That we're not looking at the ideas and taking the standard the standard view. We're challenging. We're challenging these, these standard views, these, these common views, and we're moving beyond that. We're looking at all these different things. And the thing is, we're not attacking another person's view or other people's views. We're looking at them in a very analytical fashion. We're trying to sort of see, okay, in context, well, how does this fit? Does it fit? Does it not fit? Where are they correct? Where are they, where are they incorrect? Uh, well, when they are incorrect, how did they come about this misunderstanding? Uh, and this actually benefits yourself. It, it, it allows you to sort of see where history comes from and, and where possibly we're going. And I think as I said, I've been saying, saying on live, I've been saying live that uh, history isn't in the textbook. History is in the people. So it's a completely, a completely different, a completely different vibe. The challenge I've got next is I got to try to get this out to the young, to the younger, to a, young, to a younger audience. I really don't know whether or not this is going to work or not. I think I'm going to have to place some bait out there. And the best bait that you can ever have is being provocative, and provocative is not mean, you know, taking your clothes off. That's not pro what provocative means. Provocative means simply you're. <laughs> Let me get this here. You're poking. You're poking at things. That's what provocative means. You're 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 provoking things. You're you're poking at it. And I think the best way to do that is maybe uh, to do a show on. Uh, uh, th there's a uh, show on 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 Optimus TV called IMO. Maybe I should start knocking on there a little bit more. I've done that to a certain degree already. Knock on there a little bit more and start trying to sort of uh, maybe I'll do a show on on on, uh, on shallowness and what teen girls are actually do. The, the, the reason why you can actually do this with teen girls is that teen girls, when you l listen to a lot of the rhetoric talks about the intelligence of the teen girl and how advanced they are. And the thing is, let's put this to the test. Is this the case? Do, do you have girls, do our girls shallow, or do is, is, is there more, are, you know, is there more to the standard teen girl? And so I think if, if that's a direction, that, that, that might be a direction to go in, something to look at, and go from there. Anyways, let me give you a time and date stamp uh, since uh, this is part of the BTS vlog. It is one hour and 24 minutes into the day of Friday, July 4th, 2014. And I like to say, for those who are American, I'm American and also Canadian. Uh, happy 4th, happy Independence Day. Yay. No fireworks to me. No fireworks to me. I'll be here. At the research desk, the way I usually am. Uh, <laughs> now you can you can join me three hours live at the research desk. <laughs> All right, see ya. Good morning, everybody. Yeah, it's time for another segment of the BTS vlog. Mm. And as I said before, it's not necessarily morning. It's just I'm getting up now. 
I've changed up my schedule so that I'm basically vlo uh, vlogging right after I get out of bed. That's so. This is the beginning of my. Day. This is actually the beginning of my day. I haven't gone around and done anything yet. The sleep is still in my eyes, and so, well, here we are. Let me give you a time and date step. It is 19 hours and 49 minutes into the day of Friday, July 4th, 2014. Uh, happy Independence Day to those who are American. I uh, am originally from Boston, so yay for me too. <laughs> I know a lot of my family are probably celebrating the 4th. <clears throat> I'm celebrating the 4th of July. Excuse me. Oh, uh, so... I've had three successful nights of live. We're going to go into the fourth uh, night of successful, or hopefully successful, uh, live broadcast. We're going to be doing uh, government and conspiracy again today. I've got some new, you know, even when you're sleeping, you're kind of thinking about what's going on, you know, uh, trying to figure out what to do next. And I think a lot of that stuff is off the top of my head, so, you know, so it does take a bit of effort. Um, to do this, uh, and I'm not, see, I'm not the type of person I can't read off a script. I'm not a script person, so I do have to actually know my stuff. I have to know what I'm talking about. I can't simply read it. And this is kind of the way things go. But you know, but as said, this, all this is practice. This is this is practice to speak in front of the camera, to, to correct my mistakes, to correct my posture, to, to correct my manner. Excuse me. And if this channel is about seeing something real, removing the fakeness, the phoniness, and the contrived, then you're going to see the human foibles, you're going to see the yawns, you're going to see the hiccups, you're going to see a human being in front of you, uh, uh, having a discussion. And that is, for me, that's kind of the way, you know... As if people are are are, my, and are now my books. This is where you get history from. This is and if people are the history. And as I was talking about last night, how people are history, and that you can get uh, a large chunk of history that's missing from the textbooks, from people, from people, particularly from older people. You know, you sit around, and listen to their stories, and you know if you learn more about them, you learn you know look at their photography. Look at their pictures, you know, find out more about them. And they all find that these people had interesting lives that they, and, and that they lived in periods of time that we now call history. And you can learn more about the history from a personal aspect than uh, from the um, standard boring textbook. I mean, textbooks are rather boring. They draw uh, a large chunk of the information. Um, is either missing or incorrect. In many cases, both are is both missing and incorrect. So we're gonna head head to there. You know, I'm. It's uh, let's see. It's about eight o'clock now. We start at ten o'clock. I got two hours before I get to uh, the live show, so I have to move back to the uh, the front room, the library. We're doing it from the library now, so. Anyways, uh, I'll see you in two hours at the library. And of course, you're not going to be seeing this uh, as it occurs in sequence. Uh, you'll be seeing this after it because these vlogs always go up after the uh, <laughs> after a couple of days. I'm kind of behind, as you may well know. Anyways, uh, I will be there within about two hours. Anyways, see you then. All right, bye-bye. Well, it's uh, just about uh, two thirty. Uh, a little after two thirty in the morning. Yeah, it's uh, two hours and thirty-nine minutes into the day of July fifth, two thousand fourteen, and uh, we're gonna do another uh, segment of the BTS vlog. It's been a long night. Uh, I started live at 10 o'clock, finished uh, just now at 2.30. So that was about uh, four and a half hours of uh, live, being live. Uh, 
really interesting conversation. Really, really good conversation. It was supposed to end at one o'clock in the morning, but we added. An, I added, uh, ended up adding on on Twit casting. We ended up going. The discussion really got really good at, at uh, on Twit casting. Uh, we ended up uh, going an extra hour and a half. Uh, because we had extra people coming in, at the, you know, at, at, at chiming in, sort of, they missed bits of things, so I had to go over things again. It was, it, but, you know, the discussion was really, really interesting. Uh, I, you know, so I, I think this is something, you know, this is something that's good. This is something that's really interesting. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, 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 more of this is going to happen, and I'm now sort of rearranging the systems here, because uh, as of Monday, I'm planning to go live with Cyborg Alpha TV Network. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a good, I, I think it's a good thing. I think it's a good thing. Uh, now, I'm going to sit back, watch some Bertelli, have something to eat, because I am, I am absolutely hungry. Uh, I'll have another bottle of water to drink. And then I'll come back in the morning and uh, give you, uh, and say hello again. <laughs> All right, take it easy. Bye bye. Good morning, everybody. Yeah, as I said before, it's not necessarily morning though. <sighs> Let's see, it's 19 hours and 26 minutes into the day of Saturday, July 5th, 2014. Yeah, I had a very good night last night. A very good 4th of July. Uh, yay, happy Independence Day. Uh, <laughs> although the uh, yesterday started off kind of rough, uh, I made a huge mistake. <laughs> and... I tried a new way of broadcasting uh, that was offered by uh, YouTube, uh, which was to do a live event uh, through the, um, uh, the Creator Studio. They have, this is the new button they have now. And rather than just doing upload and doing uh, Hangout broadcast, I went and did a um, uh, live event thing. And what ended up happening is that, uh, well, <laughs> um, it wasn't too good because I f didn't press the right button. And what ended up happening was uh, I ended up uh, spending an hour talking to myself because, well, apparently I didn't hit the broadcast button. <laughs> So, I didn't go live, I just stayed talking to myself, and I did that for about an hour, and I didn't even realize it. But then after that, I went over to you now, I went over to, and then I went over to, uh, Twitcasting, so, um, uh, you know, it was from, uh, I think it was, uh, 11 o'clock to 12 was you now, 12 to 2.30 in the morning was Twitcasting. And we had a really good we had a really good time. Um, there was a lot a number of people showed up. I had I think uh, Twit casting produced my largest audience, um, so I, I was I was happy for that. So I, you know I'm getting more views. I'm getting more uh, more attention. So it, it's things are starting to come along. <sighs> Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Uh, it just ah. Uh, Building these channels is very time consuming and because it's, it's building the channel on top of the research so uh, it's the research still has to go on uh, just the channel the work, the work that has to be done the work that has to be done for the channel has to go on in addition to the work that's being done for the research uh, but because uh, the TV channel gives me an opportunity to think about rewrite essays on you know really mull things over about the stuff I'm researching it's actually beneficial to the research it boosts the research because uh, you do get to rethink about things you do you know it, it's a, an extra way of taking notes it's an extra way of looking at things 
And mm-hmm. when you get to have a discussion with people, even if they they don't necessarily, they're just coming into the discussion, they're not really, you know, fully on board. The fact that you're in front of somebody maybe giving a lecture or something like that and taking questions afterwards, and that's kind of what happened uh, on uh, uh, Twitcasting. I did two nights of uh, basically talking myself, and now uh, some of the people are com- comfortable enough and they're comfortable with the subject and start asking questions and uh, they were pretty thoughtful questions you know they, they make you they do make you think they make you sort of you know uh, think about how you approach things so you know I think these things are definitely going to be interesting to see, you know, see how it bumps up my views and stuff like that uh, um and that's why I initially thought. I th- initially thought that uh, when I stumbled on to you now that in Twitch casting that this is how some of the I realized that this is how some of the uh, YouTubers actually built their popularity. Is that they were on these live channels uh, doing these broadcasts. So uh, I said, "Well, let's give this a try. Let's see if this actually works." So I'll give myself two hours uh, a night, and I started off just with you now in Twitch casting, and it worked. So I said, let's try um, YouTube, and YouTube works, so that added the third hour. And now I'm planning to go live with uh, Cyborg Alpha TV Live now. And that will be the test platform for uh, uh, Physics TV, which is going to be live 24-7. And we'll work, we'll sort of cut our teeth on, on live streaming uh, 24-7 on that, so... Uh, anyways, uh, that's it for now. I think we've uh, used our time up. And I'll see you later on today. Right now, I'm going to get a little bit of something to eat and uh, <clears throat> get the day started. All right. Take it easy. Bye-bye. Democratic Earth. Earth.